This is a short video that's going to show you how to get into a Sentry Fire safe if you've lost the combination, uh, but you you have the safe open. Uh, I'd been in this situation where I have this fire safe sitting in my garage for the past three years or so. I lost the combination. Uh, it was oriented. It was set up so that it was already unlocked. So the handle was unlocked, um, and I knew the last number in the combination, but I didn't know the rest of the combination, and I didn't know how to get it. Sentry offers a, a recovery system where you can send them $20 and a notarized letter certifying that you're the owner of the safe and they'll send you the combination if you send them some serial numbers and so forth. Uh, I thought, well, there's got to be an easier way to do this, uh, and I have liked picking locks for quite a while, so I thought I'd see if I could figure it out. Turns out it's pretty easy. There's a plastic fascia that's on the back of the safe. Um, this, I realized, was pretty loose and it looked like I could get it off, so I thought I'd go ahead and try. This one I've already taken off, and it's kind of hard to get it back on and off, so I'm sort of leaving it half disengaged, so you don't actually see me take the whole thing off. But, but that's the trick to it, is getting the back fascia off, this big plastic thing. The bolts that actually lock the safe are here. They come through here, and then there are these little knobs. There's five of them around the edge of this thing. The one on top, and there are two over here that you actually can't see. They don't have an exposed hole through the plastic. Uh, I started by going over to this side and the bolts you can depress if you push a little bit further than where they just go to when it's unlocked. So that'll give you a little bit of clearance and using some tool you can kind of pry this plastic up and over these guys. Once that's done you'll be able to see this other knob that's up here pretty clearly. On this side they're not as visible but if you look through the side you can see there's a circle in this guy and this plastic is actually a little bit different. You can sort of see the deformation here where the mold was used that put this knob on this side. Once that's done again you're going to pry this apart, pry this over a little bit to get it off of the bolts off of both locking bolts and off of the, uh, the little plastic retainers. Pop the back off, and inside you've got a very simple, very easy to understand and activate locking mechanism. Uh, there's a lot of videos, I'm sure, around YouTube on how to pick locks. This is a common combination lock. Uh, there's a gear that makes it a little bit harder to pick, but it's a very, very simple lock. So when the, when the lock is, sorry, when the safe is open, it has a, a retaining nut over here, or a little activating spring, that's, that keeps you from accidentally locking the safe when it's open. Or something like that, you get the idea. Anyway, you can't turn the combination while it's open. And it doesn't want you to, it doesn't want you to relock it while it's open. So, you push that little guy in, then this will pop out. Now you can work with the lock, the combination, and then you can very easily figure out the combination just by spinning this thing around. At this point I'm spinning all three discs. I'm going to turn until the first plate, try and get this zoomed in over here a little bit so you can see what's going on, how I see where this is. So you can see there's three discs that are spinning. And when the last one is in place, we'll stop and start turning the other direction. The knob is just turning this black plate. It's turning it directly. When the black plate connects with the first disc, it starts turning that disc at the same time. If we keep going, we're going to start turning the other plate as well, which we don't want to do. The other plate, as you can see, it's in position where the knob is oriented next to this uh, locking bar. We want that to slide in there. So the first one's done. The second one is now also in position. Turn it back a little bit for the first one. And now they should all be in place. And if I try and do the lever, it slides into place. And I've got the combination. All I need to do is go look on the other side of this thing and see what numbers those things were oriented to uh, when when I had left it so that the plate was oriented so that the bar can slide into the notch. And that's it. Now I've saved myself $20 and uh, about a week's worth of waiting and a notarized letter. So hope you enjoyed this video.